All right, and welcome back for another episode of Raven Some Raven, and this is our weekly, I was going to say annual, but not annual, our weekly pick-ems, I'm just starting to call them uh, dick picks. Yeah, dick picks. <laughs> coming from my phone to yours, emphasis on the coming. So, in this episode, just to go down the rules, if you uh, aren't, haven't listened yet, then what are you doing with your life? But, if you haven't heard, uh, we just pick each and every game, and then we place our bets. Uh, I tried to stick to my own rules, but I think I'm just going to change my own rules because they're my own rules and I can do that. I do what I want. Break uh, your one rule. Because, yeah, <laughs> I, was try I was trying to just bet on each and every single game, just bet the money line, just so it's a super simple, hey, this is the bet, this is what I'm doing. And it's just, it's very simple, you know, you end up, like last week went 9-7, and seven, so that would be, hey, I won 9 in my bets. But the bets, especially this week, you know, they become more realistic where not every kind of bet line is set at like 200 or 300. There was never, there were no blowouts really scheduled no. for the first week, just because that's the way the NFL works. No one knows what's going down in the first week, unless you're a super fan of a team, i.e. the Ravens and what they did, how they raped those Dolphins. How'd they do this week? Uh, but what? Uh, Anything good happen? I don't know. <laughs> now, fuck are you, Dolphin! You remember that South Park episode? They go and like kill all the animals, or kill all the Dolphins. Do we want to recap real quick? Yeah, we'll recap. I'm just kind of going. So we, you know, we placed our own bets. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over how we did last week. Um, I don't know if we'll go over the bets, but we'll go over our picks. And then we'll just break down each game uh, in this upcoming week for week two. Holy shit, it's already week two. Love Season's it. almost yes. over. Yes. yes. Playoff teams are already yes. almost a lock. Yes. 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 I love Dude, football yes. season. So... Let's start with the biggest fucking disappointment, Bears-Packers. I had it locked in as the game of the week. I was like, <laughs> let's fucking go. I even bet more money than every other game because I was so fucking excited. First game of the week, bro. First game of the week, first game of the year. It's going to be game. high scoring. Trubisky's going to look nice. Drink that Kool-Aid, Tr idiot. True Shitsky. I don't know. Yeah. Is there a nickname Terrible. for how terrible he looks? I'm sure Trubiskets, there's tons of them. I don't know. He's throwing Trubisky. I don't know. Figure it out. But we'll he lost to Gay Rogers out there. Yeah. Did you see the mustache? The mustache, dude. So remember the rumor that, hey, yeah. Aaron Rodgers is gay? Yep. And I then he know. comes out. I, I remember we just started a rumor that Aaron yeah, Rodgers is gay. Yeah, he's gay, yeah. Because, you know, he listens to dick pics, okay? So he, knows. He, he knows. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He got pissed that we didn't pick him. So. That was incredibly, least, no, incredibly disappointing. It. So I got that one right. That was one of our differences. There weren't, yeah. there weren't many. There was only... Uh, we just counted them out, but one, I'm still high on two, the Bears for the year. I think three. they do get it together. I think Nagy. I mean, he's an offensive guy. I don't think they score three points again. But Trubisky looks so bad. Yeah, that, that did not look mostly. Good. The, it was like second reads. Like he, yeah. as soon as the first read wasn't there, it he kind of was just like in oh fuck land right away. But it seemed like even the coaching it was terrible. Like I, yeah. Like, I've been high on David Montgomery because, to me, watching them play, he seemed like the best player on the, on the offense. Holy hell. Dude, God was high on yeah. the Bears and Montgomery, wow. too. Holy Here. hell. Exactly. That is a sign from God that <laughs> the Bears like, are you know doing what? terrible things. Uh, you know, hopefully it's just week one jitters. Thursday night games are always kind of a weird situation. Whether it comes to how it's scored or how it's coached, for whatever reason, it's always on the plus different side. Sunday. Every, I know everyone's been making this joke, but their field goal kicker nailed the kick and they yeah. got three points. So Bears are looking up, is yeah, what wow. I'm trying to say. Only points you need. <laughs> That's all you they need. found a kicker. I'm <laughs> all in. Kudos. Yeah. Instead I'm of all spending in. all that off season <laughs> time on yeah. your team, you're just fuck it. We Let's need to focus kicker. on the kicker. Hey. It's third of the game. All right. So, so what was yeah. next? So let's just, uh, instead of breaking down each game, it's going to take forever, especially yeah, if we're going to break down these, these upcoming ones, games. Yeah. Let's just go over. Um, so I ended up going 9-7. Pretty nice. I lost on the Bills. I had the Jets winning that one. So did you. I uh, lost on the Falcons. Had them winning over the Vikings. You had them as well. You also had the Falcons. Goddamn Falcons. I uh, lost on the Titans. Uh, the Browns, yeah, we both got that one wrong. Browns, we said, were a lock. Yeah. <laughs> they got to lock. us. Lock. They got to Son us. Son of a bitch. Don't listen to the media. <laughs> Don't listen to anybody but yeah. yourself. Listen God to your gut. It. 
And if it's I fucking you to drank shit, the Gatorade shit. at the last second when it was like lock in the lock in the mirror. Never again. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I right off the Kool Aid. Right. Um, what so, was another good one? Game of the week. Cardinals Lions. We both lost. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> sucks for betting, but it was a good game. It ends in a tie, I guess. Yeah. I mean, really, was it the game of the week though? Because they played like ass the whole game. Well, at least the the Cardinals played like ass. Kyler Murray, that whole new awesome Cliff Kingsbury offense. Seriously? He's worried, too. Playing through the elements. Yeah. This is how we do it. This is how we do we, it at dick pics. You can send dick pics through the weather. You know, this is football weather, baby. <laughs> this is football oh weather. <laughs> no, the... That game, like I explained earlier, broke my heart because the over-under was 47, and the game yeah. ended at 48 points. Fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck you gonna tie. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Um, How the fuck you gonna tie? Let's see, what were we definitely right on? We both called Chargers. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'm looking at this. I, it's too scribbled up. I can't even see where the Chargers are. Oh, yeah. Chargers over Colts. That was a close game. That was overtime. Yeah, that was a good game. That was very, very I, close Everyone was game. saying it was going to be a good game, and it lived up to the yeah. hype. Um, a good game that we're both right about. Um, Saints-Texans. We both picked the Saints, Saints. and that was a white knuckler yeah, right there at the end. I thought they were going to blow them out, but that was a holy fuck game. Yeah. Another game. Texans were supposed to win. What did they have, like 30 seconds left? Yeah. Like some crazy. It's like, well... I mean, you can hope for a Drew Brees craziness. But they went down in two passes, which I couldn't believe, yeah. is that the Saints D bent over then, like yeah. that. The Texans defense. And then the Texans did the same thing, yeah. Like, no, no, just play and press. If you get beat over top, you get beat over top. But you did not all game, so what you got to do is at least press them at some point. You can't be giving up these 15-yard yeah. you know, catches. They had, that they was had a, a textbook 40-second yeah. execution. They took going. what they gave them. Yeah, and they were able to come up with the yards. And let's drill that fucking ball. Yeah, that was a fifty-eight yarder. Drill that shit. Because I was thinking, like, there's no way he makes this one. Oh, X Raven, by the way, we have like a steady stream of kickers that are just in the in the league. We kicker you? Yeah, we are. We're straight <laughs> up. Welcome to Baltimore, kicker you. Yeah, BKU. <laughs> Welcome to BK. Have yeah, it your BK. way. <laughs> Love it. It was like this past season, Corey Vedvik, you know, fifth round pick to the Vikings. They ended up cutting him. And he goes to the Jets, and then they end up cutting him. Thanks for the free fifth rounder. Hey, thanks for the pick. <laughs> All right, what was your surprise of the week? Surprise team that looked our way better than you thought they were. Uh, Vikings. Vikings? They looked really good. Holy shit, and the defense and I, that I was, running game. Yeah. I was low on them. Big I, cup of meh is what we said, and yeah. I'll drink some of that meh now. Yeah. About Man, that, not mad. I yeah, know, not bad. Um, the Titans looked a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. That defense looked pretty good. They fucking destroyed the Browns and the O line. Yeah. And then Derrick Henry, his usage was nice. And then I really liked Josh Jacobs and Waller for the Raiders. Yeah. I thought those were nice additions. Yeah. Raiders look good. With that Titans game, I thought uh, I thought the score is a little misleading. Yeah, like, like it shows, like oh, this was a they dominant didn't they didn't score. blow it out till late. Yeah, it was like what two yeah two they didn't defensive blow touchdowns it out, yeah. too. So till much later. So it it wasn't. It, I mean, it was still a bad loss, but yeah, two defensive touchdowns will change that. Pleasantly you just, surprised. You were just talking about um, the Raiders. Yeah, that was a good game. Real late night game. Like even for here, and yeah. we're in Mountain Time. Yeah, it started so, like eight o'clock here. <laughs> yeah, so like East Coast, what fucking. Ended at like two in the morning. I imagine that must suck for gamblers out there. Yeah, right. It was up all night. Out in Atlantic City, huh. Atlantic City. It was a good week. I was excited. Week one. It's gonna get better though. Would you? Uh, would you think of that Patriots game? Oh. As an avid Patriots fan oh, yourself. Oh my god, just porn, <laughs> beginning to end. Fucking. That well, what made it better was just knowing we were gonna sign Antonio Brown because we found out like yeah. earlier the, the day before. So it just was like an ex. It, it was almost overwhelming, <laughs> dropping the banner on the Steelers. Yeah, it was exhausting, kicking their ass from beginning to end. It was uh, never domination. in doubt. Just the defense looked so legit. Juju didn't do a fucking Juju. Thing. Yeah, Juju. What? <laughs> the bear Juju. And um, then signing Antonio Brown the next morning, like it was just cherry on top. It was. Uh, is is Antonio going to stay on the team though? Because now there's reports. 
Yeah, yeah he, he assaulted his trainer, or was it sexually harassed his trainer, or raped his trainer? What is it? I would just reference the Patriots' statement. We do not condone sexual assault and looking not into cool. the mod matter. Not cool. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, interesting timing. I doubt it. I don't know more. I don't want to speculate, but let's just say interesting timing. Mm-hmm. Interesting, mm-hmm. peculiar timing. Turns out it's actually the same girl that Robert Kraft got did, in trouble with. Who, no, did the weird Chucky Raider owner guy have that info the whole time while Antonio was on the Raiders mm-hmm. and then let it be released, you know? Really sent a spider to Y banana to AP. Yeah, exactly. You know? I threw I an audible know. at him. I think I think there's a bigger thing going on here. But let's get to fucking week two because I got money tickets in my hand. They're burning my hand. These are lava takes. So we got <laughs> so cap things up. First week nine and seven. Eh, that's maybe a wild card depending on the yeah. year, depending on the conference. You seven and nine. Unless, Gotta get our shit together. That's unless, purgatory. That's yeah. fucking bullshit. Unless you're what, the Seahawks? But I will say this. I mean, that's seven and nine. The fucking Lions blew it late for me. Yeah, that's a tie. So that doesn't work. No one's uh, here. I drank the Bruce Arians can fix Jameis Winston yeah. Kool Aid. That turned but out to against be. Against the like, 49ers, you think so? Because it's not like the 49ers so. yeah. are all that great. Yeah, definitely. And then, yeah, the Bears just kind of make me look like an asshole. Fuck the Bears. But I think we'll rally this week that, you know, get the mediocre weeks out of the way early. Okay. And we'll, you know, much like the Pats normally start September rough, I imagine, you know, it'll be a rough September and then hopefully by November I'll be undefeated. Yeah, so you killed it in the night games. Yeah. Besides the Thursday night game. I'm so, you went, so you went three for one in night games. Yeah. I was just happy that I salvaged because I was kind of dead inside up before the Patriots. Okay. Because I had taken a lot of L's yeah. that day, especially in gambling. And then to win it on three in a row, picking Pats, Saints, and the Raiders, and then having some big money and winning on that shit was nice. So, on to week two then. Dose. As the weather comes in, as the lightning strikes down, we strike down with our picks and tell me, hey, I got this W. Fuck yes. I don't even know if that makes sense, but... I loved it. So, week two, Thursday night game. We got the Buccaneers versus the Panthers. I have the Panthers winning this one, but I'm not I'm not convinced. Yeah. Either way this goes. Yeah. I stared at this sheet for an hour and a half before we even put in our bets. Yeah. And I'm still staring at it, just like, oh... Fuck. I, at first, my first instinct on here, it says Panthers by six and a half. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. And then <clears throat> I drank that Bucks Kool Aid again, where I was like, they can't be that bad on offense, right? Jameis yeah. has yeah. talent, right? Getting thirsty out here. But I ended up picking the. I'm picking the Panthers, and I just took the money line on that just one. Just the money line. See, I was thinking yeah. about that, but then right when I got up there, I. Kind of froze up, started freaking out. Blackout. <laughs> Blacked out. And I was looking at that minus 300. And, you know, the lady's there, and I'm like, I don't want to take this dumbass bet at <laughs> minus 300. 300, yeah. So I went with the over, which is an even worse bet. <laughs> <laughs> at 49 and a half. Yeah. But here's here's my thoughts. So, because if you look at the stats from last week, in total, these teams put up 44 points. The Bucks, uh, they put up 17 up against who they play again? Who the fuck did they? 49ers. Yeah, the 49ers. I don't know. I'm thinking without those interceptions that over under is 49 and a half. Yeah. You think this is you think they both get over 25 points? I think they just start throwing it like crazy. Both Spock teams it. lost the Divisional Panthers. Divisional game Thursday uh, night. Yeah, the Panthers, they only scored 27 and I think they start scoring more. It's really it's a bad bet. When, but for whatever reason, I just see them just going out and scoring a bunch of points. Have we seen if Christian McCaffrey can also throw? Because Probably. that dude is like Booby Miles, but actually happened and made it to the NFL. He does he do does everything. Everything. So I want to see. I envision. Let's just line Cam Newton at running back. We'll snap. We'll switch it up. No, I like it. I, I mean, I like the more the I think about this bet, it's terrible, but, you know, blacked out. Fuck it, yeah. So I bitched out and just bet the Panthers in the money line. 
I originally wanted them to win by. And seven. I think I think it is going to be a close game, but I think it's going to be a high scoring game. I think Jameis yeah. Winston uh, has the ability to to just throw it deep uh, against these corners, against the Panthers' corners, and I think the Panthers are going to have to respond. I think they're going to get Christian McCaffrey in the flat like always, and the Bucks' defense isn't that good. Yeah, so I'm true. thinking the Bucks are going to be able to pass it deep, and the Panthers are just going to be able to move the ball on the Bucks. Hoping... You don't think Sue has it anymore? <laughs> and in Dominican Sue, even... is he on the Bucks? Is I it? I think so. Or is he on the Panthers? I honestly have no idea. I think he's on the Bucks. Yeah, he signed with them. Sue me. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's one of those where it's just thank God it's a divisional game or yeah. what's what's the point here? All right, what do we got next? Let's go to Sundays. Uh, let's just I'm just gonna go down these lists. So we'll start with like the, the then we'll go good. to the 1 p.m. on the East Coast games. So then we got Cowboys Redskins. Cool. Now I got the Cowboys. I got the Cowboys and I bet the over on this one. It's set at 46 and a half. I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to stick my dick all up in that dick pic. <laughs> yes. Love that. I, I also really like the Cowboys at five and a half to win that. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I should have parlayed that instead of with the money line. That's a big regret there. But, yeah, I like the Cowboys. Uh, not big on, yeah, Case Keenum. I, I don't really know what their offense is going to do. I think they started out hot that first half, caught yeah. the Eagles with their pants down a little bit, and then they ended up getting shut down. Could you consider the, offense the Eagles completely. America's team because they're Eagles? Because they're Eagles. And that's America's bird. Because I don't know. I just you, thought about this. You can consider the Redskins American's team also. Yeah, it's, that is what America was. Yeah. Red-skinned. Yeah, Racist. Exactly. Uh, wait, who did you have in the... Bucks, Panthers again? Who'd you pick? Panthers. Panthers? Okay. Yeah. So we are two for two. Yeah, I also have the Cowboys. I think this is no questions asked. I think they are the better team in that division. Um, they're, uh, the Eagles got a lot of hype, but I think the Cowboys just have a deeper squad. I the, don't know how they're keeping all the players. The looks uh, nice. The new offense, same players, but new coordinators. Yeah. So Kellen yeah, Moore. Goes, goes to show how important yeah. a good coach can go. And he's what? From the Sean McVay system? Yeah. So a good young Play Wasn't caller. he the QB in Boise State all those years? I'm pretty sure. Man, Maybe. this is like the first time I feel old as a football fan. Yeah, where it's, where it's like a dude I was playing. playing nice. Yeah, now oh, he's the new coordinator, well, but like it looks Byron fucking Leftwich nice. Is, yeah, is coaching. It's yeah, like, what the hell? Vrabel is a head yeah, coach. Vrabel? Yeah, damn it. But I, yeah, I really like the Cowboys. I love that new offense. Plus, more than their offense, defense looks stacked. And the bet I took on this game was the uh, the spread at minus five and a half because I think I think the Cowboys will win pretty convincingly. I think they will put up another sixty five. Now the Redskins, I think, have an underrated defense. They got a lot of Alabama uh, defensive linemen on that team, so they got a pretty stout defensive line. But one of the Cowboys' strengths is that offensive line. Yeah. And in general, their offense has been able to move. They move Dak around a lot, you know, getting people open. <clears throat> Something different. It's not predictable. He's mobile, and I think the um, rise of Gallup is going to take a lot yeah. of pressure off Cooper. Yeah. So having that third option takes a lot of pressure off Zeke and Cooper. They're going to be looking pretty nice, which sucks. Yeah. Whatever. Maybe, <laughs> but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we dumb boys... Fuck. Remember, remember that meme I sent you when they, after they, <laughs> they signed Zeke? It's like, hey, we signed Zeke. It's like, I know. And then it's, what is it, Brokeback Mountain, I think, and they're holding each we other. We damn boy. We damn boys. And when they're, they're making, making out. out. <laughs> we damn <them> boys. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to Dick Pick. Uh, so, good on that game. Yeah. So, good next on the out. list, we got Colts versus Titans. And this is a very tricky one because you got... The Colts coming off a very tricky loss in overtime. You know, really stuck it to them. Everyone counted them out because of Andrew Luck's injury. But they went up, proved that they got a good defense. They still have all those weapons on offense. They have one of the most underrated lines in the NFL, especially with uh, Quentin Nelson. Yeah. I, I don't know if you saw that image of him. He uh, he straight up pummeled uh, Melvin Ingram on the really? Chargers. Really? Okay. Like, he tried to cut around him, and he straight Wasn't up Nelson like a decked top five him on the yeah, uh, so guard too. Yeah, one guard. of the first times yeah, that I remember happens. that. Yeah, and then the Titans too. They con convincingly, the right word, uh, beat the Browns, the Browns last week, and in such crazy fashion, such a blowout. But like we kind of said earlier, it wasn't as bad yeah, as the score, the score kind of yeah. says. 
So really, it's hard to tell because the Titans, everyone's kind of yeah. pushing them down. It looks like the way they set it up with the money line and the way the Titans are favored by three, that it's just a pretty close game. Um, I pick, I guess for our pick, I'll pick the Titans, but I just bet the over on this one. And that was set at 45. All right. So we have our first difference because yeah. I have the Colts winning this one. Uh, the Titans are at home, so there is that. But I think, you know, the Titans are one of these teams that can go and beat the Patriots and then the next week go and lose to mm -hmm. the Dolphins. Oh, yeah, like definitely. They are just so all over the place. They kind of play to the competition, and it's what, who are you getting? And I'm literally just betting that you're getting the, the bad version of the Titans. <clears throat> I think the Colts were playing pretty emotional last week. That's what we saw. Yeah. Also, I'm not big on teams playing back-to-back -back road games. Okay. I think uh, the Titans being at home, that's going to be their home opener. They're predicted by a win by three on this sheet. Yeah, that's I kind have... of like this is this was really up in the air, and I just kind of went home team on that one. Plus, I like the way the Titans D look, and Eric Henry has been on a tear since last season. Yeah. He's been on a serious tear. I think they put up well over 45 points, so I love that bet, so, actually. Yeah, I, like I said, I took the Colts, and the bet that I took... <coughs> on this game uh, was just the money line on the Colts because they were fav or, uh, underdogs, I guess, at plus 145. And I think, you know, if you're talking an underdog taking the win, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, might as well. That's good. I totally see that. That's a nice pick there. What do we got next? Uh, so next we got the Seahawks versus the Steelers. This is a, what, a Super Bowl? I couldn't fucking Super decide Bowl match this up. one for my life, yeah, I can't, dude. I can't tell if this one's going to be 50-50 to 50 or 3-3. Three to three. Three, Yeah, I I couldn't. The way this sheet has it, it has the Steelers by 4, minus 4, the over-under 46.5. That I went back and forth on like a thousand times on my sheet. I have Seahawks in the under. Okay. I think I ended up uh, just betting the Seahawks and the money line on that one. Okay. But I really like the under on that. Yeah, I don't think both teams are going to score a lot. Um, I, I could totally see 21, eight, you know. Yeah, because the Seahawks, they are underdogs at plus 155. Yeah. So my bet that I took is I took the the Seahawks for the money line and parlayed that with the under. At nice. And I, and I, I had that one circle and for, definitely is one I thought a, a lot because about. Because I don't see it getting... Uh, much more than 46. What did... All right, so... So last week, if you combine both of their points, it was only 24 points total. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't see them all of a sudden going gangbusters. Even if you add an, another touchdown to that for each each team, that's still, yeah. that's still looking pretty good. Yeah. That's only 38. So, so I love that parlay. That's a really who great knows, parlay. They're probably both going to score 50 Yeah, they points, could so. fucking rack it up. But I like Seahawks... Uh, D to shut down the running game and force him to throw him to... Looks like all the Steelers have is Juju and yeah. Washington, maybe. Yeah, okay. yeah. cool. Mon uh, was it Moncrief, right? Did, not, yeah, he, did he, he even like get trash. a target? He looked shut yeah, down. Yeah, Rookie was playing, but I don't, know, I don't know how much he actually did. And Big Ben looks like he's been drinking like all season. Dude, did he you looked see those fat, right? <laughs> he looked yeah. like... He know, he's always been a big dude, but like... He's been what? like fried chicken and beer like uh, all off season, which I don't blame juice, him. Gonna hit your con. Yeah, I don't blame him. I love fried chicken and beer, but I'm not played, you know, being paid to play for the Steelers quarterback. So you you have the Seahawks in this one? Yeah, I have the Seahawks, and I love the I love that parlay you did, the 150 with the under. Yeah. That one, I'm having betters regret not doing. Yeah, betters regret. Son of a bitch. I better regret this. All right, what do we got? So next, next is Bills at Giants. You want to take okay, this one Bills, away? Okay, Bills Giants. This one, another one where I didn't give a shit about the winner. It has the Bills favored by two, and the over under is forty three and a half. I took the under on this one. I got the Bills winning, <clears throat> but I bet on the under just because both teams weren't able to really rack up points. Bills did late. I like their defense, too, so I see them shutting down the Giants' D a lot. And um, <clears throat> I almost really like the side and the Bills by two. I thought that was actually pretty cool. Yeah, I was looking one. at that as well, but I I just don't know. Like, this could be like a... And I uh, love Josh Allen. The dude has... He, he's kind of one of those guys where 
It's kind of he reminds me a lot of like Brett Favre, where he just like would have a shit three quarters, <laughs> yeah, and then pulls it all together in a, you know true gunslinger fashion. Uh, so it's like now that I'm thinking about it, maybe that minus two for the the spread probably would have been the better bet. Yeah. Because I we I think we both think it's going to be low scoring, mm-hmm. and really when you have uh, a spread, but I think the two, Bills win by more than four. Yeah, that doesn't happen yeah. until like you get into like the later numbers where mm-hmm. you have like more combinations to have close close mm-hmm. numbers. Because what like at the beginning threes and sixes and sevens, I guess. But yeah, I think I think it's going to be mostly One. field goals, so there's yeah. going to be a three point separation. Yeah. So not like not realizing That's why that I like now, that it's like, too. Fuck. Yeah, that's why I like Should that, bet too. That because I bet, I just bet the money line. I just put the Bills at minus 125. So, okay. I had the Bills winning this one over the Giants. Now, I have a lot of road teams going in and winning, which yeah, I don't really like to see. Stack. <laughs> but I can see how it's inviting this week. There's a lot of road favorites. Yeah, there's a lot of good, there's a lot of good road teams. Uh, Going to give some good road dome this Year, yeah, I can't so. believe the Bills are actually favored on the road in real life. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's how bad the Giants are. Jesus But you Christ. know what I find crazy? So the Ravens go out and destroy the Dolphins. And it's, oh, well, it's the Dolphins, right? No one's talking about that with the Giants, right? Because aren't, weren't the Giants seen as such a terrible team? Yeah. And even Vegas thinks they're a terrible team, according to these odds. Jesus, yeah. So that, so it's just I not think a it's good just look. different market. Not a good so look. So the Cowboys not a good get the look love. for me for picking the Giants to win last week, and now they're looking for number one pick. But shit, all right. So you said you had the Bills, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're agreeing again. I love me some Josh Allen. Yeah, he's not too bad. I like his running ability. Love his arm. He fucking zips it. Uh, so Patriots versus Dolphins. Uh, you took a bet on this game. This is a game that I did not take a bet on because it is. Is so outrageous the kind of money you have to spend <laughs> yeah. to win any sort of money in this, and it's how crazy the game's gonna be. It's it's hard to pick that as a non Patriots fan, just because the Dolphins always play the Patriots good, right? The yeah. Dolphins always we lose every year in Miami. I hope, like I was saying earlier, I hope we do actually lose. Betting aside, <laughs> to like humble the Patriots, and I don't want to flirt with that undefeated season. Yeah, because everyone I've been, been saying that. The Patriots. I've, I've been through that shit. That shit is so heartbreaking. Just lose in Miami yeah. early. It would be dope. Get out of the way. It would piss off Belichick. Give them something to like really coach up because this team looks too good. They need a chip on their shoulder. Yeah, they everyone's need something. picking them. Yeah, and like I've been saying all season, everyone just predict them to win. Because yeah, that my nightmare is coming so true. Far, that's what's been going on. So they need they need some questions. They need some questions. I don't want to chase nineteen to know that unicorn. We've done it once. I yeah, still I, have stars. I kind of really want to talk about this game because the the Dolphins <laughs> they got thumped. How do they respond? Like knowing all this about how the Patriots yeah. and the Dolphins have played in the past, especially yeah. as a Patriots fan, you've seen it firsthand every a lot. year. But how does a team respond from getting thumped and then now asking their what's agents scary about the Dolphins? To get traded? Yeah. Like if players are already trying to get the fuck out of there. Not a good sign. Um, what is going for the Dolphins is Brian Flores. Hmm. Yeah, ex- he coached Pats. on the Pats for a decade plus. He just got done coaching the defense. He's used to coaching against Brady. And then last year, we can recall when the Pats went into Detroit and yep. Patricia just fucking destroyed them. Couldn't believe it. That I'm a little wary about. But the Patriots are favored by 19 points yeah. and i took the points on that <laughs> just because fuck it i hope they win by a billion yeah. over, uh, the over under 47 un- i mean that one was interesting i we know the pats are gonna score but, or the dolphins gonna score yeah like, and, you know, and they, from who and so who, think, who's gonna and is it, where is it gonna come from so i think i don't think in general the patriots defense is better than the ravens but i think against the dolphins they're gonna be better because they're a well-known opponent, yeah, they know everything about him. I know it is a new coach, but like, like I'm saying, that's a very, that's a coach who used to coach with Belichick, and then they did they wouldn't even allow us to bet on the money line. Apparently, yeah. you can in Vegas, but I remember yeah. seeing it. it's like like twenty five hundred, yeah, it's something it's crazy. Insane. So, you yeah. got the Patriots winning in this one, I imagine. Yes, so do I. And I took the, they got to win by twenty points. That's <laughs> for me to win, like. Four bucks, five bucks. I mean, they probably will. <laughs> All right, go Pats. Redemption. 
Also, redemption for that bullshit Miami oh, miracle. Oh, yeah, I forgot oh, about that. Gross. Hey, that was the craziest thing. See, that is Ugh. the Dolphins. They, they're such a terrible team, but yet they go out and go 7-9. and nine? Like, Yeah, but not this year. They're definitely they're playing for Tua. They're definitely playing for see, Tua. See, my hope is that no team is able to come close to that 59, and it's just like, what up, Ravens? A-O. Oh, A-O. top score all, all year, first week. I mean, that's going to be tough. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the highest scoring uh, single team uh, score, like uh, the most a single team puts I'll up. I'll have to take a look at the Chiefs' schedule because they might have someone fucking, they might play the Dolphins as a that's point. True. <laughs> that's true. And at what point do they bench Mahomes? And yeah. that's when that becomes a question because we benched, we benched Lamar and uh, RG3 came in and scored. Nice. And then they were Good literally at the end of the game. They drove seven minutes all the way down the field, and we're on like the three yard line with like forty seconds left. And I was kind of pissed because at a certain point, it's just like, yeah, you already went for it when you were up by thirty. You already went for it on fourth down with a fake punt. Might as well just really step on their throats again. But just really the Dolphins, take their just, fucking girlfriends yeah. to just really embarrass them. Send them dick pics. <laughs> exactly. Right, Not so fun ones. Next game on this list, uh, the Jaguars versus the Texans. All right. What you got in this one? All right, this one I got the Texans winning, but I bet on the Jaguars on the money side because the Texans are favored to win by nine. So I think they'll win, but I, I think they win by a lot less than that. Yeah, this this is a very tough one. Like another divisional game. Uh, the the Texans came also, off a brutal Minshew, loss, dude. Yeah. Minshew looked nice. I just call him the cashew. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did he come from? Minshewing up defenses, dude. Oh man, I feel so bad for the Jags. Like Foles actually w- looked like brought yeah. him an offense, and then goes down on a dope touchdown pass. But Minshew went out there and kept them in the game. Yeah, Cause it seems like throughout, like <clears throat> since for a while now, I guess they've had good receivers. And it's just Blake Bortles have kind of held them back, and they find they got that good defense, mm-hmm. but against the it's hard to tell because they played Kansas City, so it's hard to judge their defense. Really gauge, and they yeah. and the Jags they're kind of one of these teams when some when one things go goes bad, it's a snowball effect to where they just tumble all the way down. Mm-hmm. Did you see Miles Jack when he got ejected? Oh and he's my like God. it's like getting bounced from the bar. And the bouncer that's like, exactly what you it was, and he just wanted to get back in and drink with his homies. But it's like, bro, do you know how many people are watching you right now, throwing a temper tantrum? I've seen that person. I haven't been that person yet, but definitely the like the weird escorted out. That shit sucks. Yeah, real awkward on the moment too. I it was embarrassing when his boys you, were like, like, "Hey, get your shit together yeah. really quick." Yeah, bad like, look. Who, who, what bad, are you trying to do? Look. What, are you, what are you trying to do? And this. And yeah, and it's the Jags. They they were in that game for some of it, and then after that that defensive meltdown when they started going crazy, he got ejected. Then it just went to shit. And so I think the Jags are still a pretty good team in a division game on the road. But it's, this is one of those games where it's like I I can't pick another road team, right? Yeah. So I I picked the Texans in this one, but you know I, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, who did it? What did I bet? Oh, I bet the Jags on the spread at a uh, nine. Oh, okay, so, so same. I think we bu- we put down the same bet. We both think the Texans gonna are going to win, but it's not gonna be by a close much. Game. Yeah, I so agree. I also agree. Also had the Texans, and then took the Jags on that. So let's go Minshew. Oh yeah, and Deshaun Watson, he's got that clutch gene. Yeah, and for whatever reason, Fucking bad motherfucker. Yeah, last week there was just clutch gene versus clutch gene, and the elderly man got it first or got last, I guess technically. God, I kind of hope the Jags win that, <laughs> just so yeah. I can celebrate Minshew. <laughs> Again, let's go. The Chew, dude. Give me the <laughs> Chew. The chew. <laughs> Throw in the Chew. He's got it done. Chewbacca right. back there. <clears throat> so, on to the next game. Uh, still all morning games to this point. Uh, Vikings versus Packers. The Fudge mm, Packers. tough one. I have the Vikings in this one. Um... And I, I just straight up took the money line on that. They are, they are the underdogs. Surprisingly, after the way the Vikings played, I don't see why they would be the underdogs. Maybe it's just because they are going to be in Lambeau. Yeah. Uh, the Packers, they look 
not that good. The I mean, offense they won that didn't game. look good. The offense, you know, they finally got it going. Now, defense is that, looked great. Is that because Aaron Rodgers and that offense didn't play together in the preseason? Opening the hole is preseason important yeah. debate. But, you know, are they now going to turn it on against the Vikings defense? That's yeah, very exactly. good. That's been good for a while. So there's history there. It's, it's not like some, oh, now they're good. No, they've been good. Um, I don't really know the history of how these teams have played one another. But you got, I, if you break it down to like Kirk Cousins versus Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, Rogers, you yeah. pick the Packers. But I think total team wise, Dalvin Cook in his run game, the, God, the I'm whole happy to see him healthy. Looks really good. They yeah. they only threw it ten times, but they still have Thielen and Diggs, probably the, the two best. You know, yeah. Returning. I think, wide I think the Vikings got smart. Their run first. Live, um, live by their defense. Their defense is going to keep them in games. They've got Dalvin Cook, and then. Every now and then, Cousins just has to throw it to Diggs and Thielen, which is great backup. I, I have the Vikings winning on the road. The Packers are favored to win by three, but what I actually bet was the over. That's 44 and a half. Okay. Um, See, I think this is going to be a low, lower scoring yeah, game. Yeah, I, I kind of have betters regret on the over on that one, but <clears throat> I, I still think the Vikings end up putting putting up pretty good numbers, and you can't keep... Aaron Rodgers to ten points again. Yeah. I just like I just like I think the Packers got a good defense. They dumped a lot of draft capital and a lot of money into that defense. And so far, mm-hmm. after the first week at least, it, it paid off. Looks like they're Who back. Knows, you know that was against the Bears, and for whatever reason, we kind of already talked about them how they kind of shit the bed on offense. Mm-hmm. So who knows if they their defense actually has improved? But you know, I think the Vikings offense is better than the Packers' defense. Mm-hmm. so They're the better all-around team. I think that uh, the Vikings last year, because we everyone was so high on them, I think we're seeing that team now. Yeah, and we were both mad on them last week, right? So yeah, I think because there was a carryover from last year where they just... <laughs> big disappointment. Big cup of disappointment. Yeah, so you said you had the Vikings as well. Yeah. But after seeing that first week, that's why I'm happy this first week's over so we can actually see and evaluate these teams. Definitely, they look like they're probably going to contend for the uh, NFC yeah, North. They, they definitely look like a playoff team. Probably even winning that division. Yeah, no, they're probably mm-hmm. looking everyone, like the favorites yeah, Everyone was there. talking about the Bears-Packers. And yeah. then it looks like the Vikings are the team to beat there. Um, so, like so it. far, we've only got one difference in our games. And I made these picks before... We we went to the casino, so... All right, what do we got? Uh, next, we have the Chargers versus the Lions. Fuck yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yeah, give me this money. I'm taking the Chargers and the points. They have the Chargers to win by three. Yes, give me that all day. I think yeah. they e- win by easily more than three points. Yeah, they didn't have the money line set on that, and I wanted to bet the money line because I... the. The the, uh, the spread was at three, yeah, for the Chargers, and I just I think this is going to be a close game. I think Stafford, it's going to be a, a comeback because you know the Chargers they always have blow it have to have those late game blowing it and and the uh, the Lions Matthew Stafford he's got that clutch gene so I think you know the Chargers come out with the win but I I think it's going to be a roaring comeback from Matthew Stafford to make it close and to really pucker the Chargers fans buttholes. I love uh, <laughs> Eckler for the Chargers. Looks like he's going to be yeah. really nice. Yeah, so Melvin Gordon, he's off yeah. that team. I dropped him Great in Great fantasy. fantasy pickup. Yeah. Anyone got Eckler, that shit's fucking going to yeah, had dividends. Melvin, I had Melvin Gordon on that team, but I, I was hoping that they would trade him. But the way Marquise Brown played, I was just like, fuck that. I'm just going to drop him, pick up Marquise, and I think that that's so far pretty good. No, I think the Chargers win a pretty solidly solid game there. So you got the Chargers as well. We agree yet again. We should probably stop hanging out because our picks are coming out the same. Uh, well, but I mean, I'm, fucking dick picks. They're hard ons. They're ready to go. Yeah, they're not hard off. So <laughs> this right. is football season, baby. Um, yeah, and the, just like uh, Philip Rivers versus that Lions defense. I know Patricia is. Uh, defensive coach. I, I just think the Chargers have have the weapons and can run. Think the about ball. Patricia and that I've noticed. It, it was a trend with the Pats, and it's kind of carried over the Lions. 
his defenses bend in the fourth quarter and break. Mm-hmm. They give up huge points and crunch time when you need them to make a fucking stop. A la Super Bowl 52, where can yeah. you stop the fucking Eagles one time, dude? Nope. One fucking time? <laughs> no. You can't. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah and, he, and he's, uh, like, coaching-wise, I, mean, I don't know how he is in the locker room, but when it comes to, like, coaching decisions, yeah. I remember they had that game. They had that game for the win. They mm-hmm. literally mm-hmm. ran a play and got that first down at the end of the game so to the point where they can just run the clock out and it'd be done, you know, kneel three mm-hmm. times and the game is over. Game's over. No more timeouts. Uh, but as that play was going on, the whistle's blowing and it's, apparently they called a timeout. Like, Patricia called a timeout through his one of his coordinators because, you know, he stuck. Oh, I saw that, and yeah. And it was like, oh, man. Because that, that's happened to the Ravens before where they, they had a successful play, but apparently the coach decided to call a timeout, thus nullifying what would have won them the game. And that, and it seems like that every single week, not every single week, but last year that happened a lot, where he's just not making the correct coaching decisions. For an MIT graduate, not what smart. the fuck? Not smart, bro. You're not a smart coach. Still like you. <laughs> Still a cool guy, I'd drink but a beer with you, but nah, I'd, fucking decisions. I'd drink a beer. I wonder if he has like a a pencil deal like he's like guaranteed sponsor why hasn't it? he gotten a number two deal yet <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't know who the major pencil you know game changers are anymore but that's got to be an easy advertisement yeah, well, right there. well because it's number two and he is going to be number four in that division so boom got it <laughs> burned got him <laughs> showed you patricia <laughs> take that bitch all right so next game uh 49ers versus the Bengals. All right, I got the Bengals winning this, and they have the points at one and a half. I fucking totally dig that. I think they win by more than a one and a half points. Yeah, so you bet the spread on the Bengals. Yeah. I, as well, uh, bet the spread on the Bengals at that minus one and a half. Yeah, there's, I, I, I think this is probably going to be more than a touchdown. I think yeah. the, the, the Bengals came out feisty against the Seahawks. I don't know how good the Seahawks are going to be this year. You know, their projections are all over the field when it comes to that sort of thing. But the Bengals came out hot. They came out swinging. I think their rookie head coach, Zach Taylor, he knows how to use the offense. Knows speed. how to use the speed with John Ross. Mm-hmm. It seemed like all their other coaches... Breath of fresh air. The Bengals yeah. needed that. They, I was kind of high on them to beat the Seahawks. They almost did. And you don't I'm gonna keep, I think that momentum is going to keep up. You Plus, it's their home opener. 49ers, it's their second road game, right? Mm-hmm. Like I was mentioning earlier, not big on back-to-back road games to open up the year. So I like the Bengals big there at one and a half. Yeah, Andy Dalton passed for like 400-something odd yards, so the Red Rocket was slinging it, Mm -hmm. shooting loads all over the field. And Jimmy Garoppolo just hasn't looked right yet. Garoppa who? Yeah. He needs to go back to Bone and Porn Stars or do something. Yeah, so... Like I said, I got the Bengals in this game. You also have the Bengals. Fuck yeah, one and a half. Hey, we're going to go... Easy money. I'm going to go 16 and 0 this week, and you're going to go 15 and 1. So Fuck far. yeah, I'll take it. So, the last of the morning games, I guess, first set of games at 1 p.m. Eastern, is the Cardinals versus the Ravens. My team, the Craven Some Raven podcast, talking about this game. I There's... No yeah. reason I would pick against this, but the bet that I took for this is I took the spread, which was set at 14, which is a pretty big spread, and Ravens the over set at 47. So I parlayed the over at 47 and the spread at 14. I think this is going to be uh, another time when the Ravens go off again. Uh, they were, they were Lamar Jackson was able to pass. For 300-something yards and five touchdowns versus the Dolphins. And I think the Cardinals actually have a worse defense. I think they might have the worst defense in the league, especially when it comes to their corners. Their best corner, Patrick Peterson, he is out for I don't know how many more weeks because of PEDs. And they have no one else. They just have scrubs. And I think since the Ravens were able to just pass it all over the yard, on the Dolphins. I think they're going to do that again. I'm looking for them to drop another 50 burger and opening the season, the first two games, with over 100 points. I think that they're going to decidedly win this one. Damn, light lava home take. Opener? Lava home take. Opener? It's the home opener. The Dude, I think the ball the is going to be flying around in this game. I can't wait. Hopefully, 
Murray and Kingsbury get a feel of whatever they caught in the fourth quarter because the first three quarters they were embarrassment. Yeah. But they started to look like it was coming together. I think this is going to be a high-scoring game, so I bet the over at 47 points, I definitely think that's going to hit. Mostly because the Ravens are going to carry a lot of those points, but I think the Cardinals, they'll find a way to yeah. um, to whip the ball around I think again. Get, I think it'll be similar to what they did against the Lions. Yeah. I think it will be they won't produce much and, all and, for three quarters. And in, that, in the fourth quarter, Murray did show that, all right, this guy's maybe not belong yet, but it might be down the road. Yeah, I just think the, uh, the Ravens' defense... I think they're going to get after him. They're going to hit him a lot. The Ravens, they always get uh, roughing the passer penalties. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of those games where they're going to say, hey, it's a rookie quarterback. You know, just uh, hit him a little bit. You know, we'll God. take the penalty. The Cardinals are such underdogs in this. At yeah. Plus four, 540. <laughs> and, and, the, and the Ravens have historically had great success against rookie quarterbacks. Yeah. I think we're going to get to them because I think on the Ravens' defense, they kind of do something that no other team does where they blitz like damn near 80% of the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that will get to Murray. But like I said, they I think as the game goes on, it'll be such a – such a big deficit that they're just going to start going after it and have that late quarter success. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you also had the Ravens, so we agree and again. The over <laughs> and the over, fuck yes, yeah, score points. Yeah, look, looking for lots of points in this game. Points on points on points on points. Uh, you got a point there, Chief? Uh, Anybody got a point? You got a point there, Chief, which moves us to our next game, which is the Chiefs versus the Raiders, or Chiefs at the Raiders. Uh, I don't know how much of a home field advantage that stadium is. I don't know if you watched that game, but the stadium lights in that game were like turned way up, or at least on the broadcast they had the contrast way up because those lights were blinding. It's, it looked like you know on cranked the, up to on eleven. The field, yeah, like the way the light was bouncing off of the jerseys, it was just like you so need you think to the turn lights them are going to affect the Chiefs. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe the Chiefs will burn even brighter. You know? So don't don't the Raiders play on a baseball field? Yeah. And Patrick Mahomes used to be a baseball player, right? See where you're going with this. Yeah. So the Chiefs buy a billion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Spider Two Lock by banana. In. Yeah. No Chiefs. So you got the Chiefs as well in this one. Chiefs. I have the over in this, and I have the Chiefs covering the spread at eight and a half. I think it's nine. Yeah, now. see, this is one of that I had buyer's remorse on the bet. I just bet the over, but like looking at that minus eight and a half, I, I do think, yeah, if they if they do win, which I think they will, they are going to win handedly. You know, who knows? You know, maybe mm -hmm. Derek Carr and John Gruden, they do ha he is an offensive coordinator by trade, right? He is an offensive-minded guy, and they ended up doing better than they thought. Uh, against the Broncos. And the Broncos were supposed to have a good defense. Mm -hmm. But the Chiefs, they have a tragic defense. So I think both teams are going to put up Josh points. Jacobs looks nice yeah, for Josh them. Jacobs. Waller looks really nice. They look like they actually have a, something of an offense Tyrell to go Williams with that. Tyrell Williams was killing it as and number one Tyrell receiver. Williams, pleasant surprise. And then their defense looks fast. Yeah, so it's they're definitely going to put up points. I think, you know, just the multiple multitude of ways that the Chiefs can attack really any team no matter how good your defense is they're going to put up 30 a game uh like even I imagine even against the Patriots and Ravens they're going to be able to put I think up Mahomes close to 30. throws for like four touchdowns runs for four touchdowns <laughs> it scores two has a double a home run gets a safety and then he steals three bases <laughs> okay I could see that yeah yeah at what at what point on the field is he going to be scrambling around do you think he throws Throws a pass from a base. Yes. Yeah, because it's like damn near center field. Throws a field. strike. From know? second base all the way to the end zone. I can see it. He's going to throw someone out. It's going to be boom. Yeah, so we both have the Chiefs in this one. And so that brings us to our next game that I, I believe we are have a different opinion on this one. It is the Saints versus the Rams. Yes. I originally had the Saints winning this one, but after looking at it some more and seeing all my picks and all my away teams that I had winning... I had to go with the Rams because I think the Rams do have a home field advantage, even though they are not known as this powerhouse uh, home advantage. You know, they're playing in the Coliseum. But when I saw them in the preseason, the party atmosphere that they had, the the L.A. factor, you know, it seemed like a party there. And I, I, I think they will. It's just so L.A. here. It, yeah, like I said, it's, it's so L.A. 
Yeah, I think this is a vengeance game up the ass. I think the Saints have this had this circled since probably July or June. I think they want to show that they probably deserve to represent the NFC last year and really try to take it to the Rams on the road. Yeah, I, I just bet the money line on the Rams because um, I, I, I think this will be a close game. Uh, the yeah. Saints just came off one of the closest, craziest games of the year. Game of the week, I guess, yeah. last week. And then, um, I, for whatever reason, I just think the Rams at home, even with it being like a, hey, fuck you game, they had a rule change put in place because of this game last year. Mm-hmm. And I think kind of the football mm-hmm. gods will say, yeah, you want to change your rule? Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, same outcome. That, would be, that I mean, that would be the football gods' way of saying fuck you to the Saints God, again. God works in serious I don't know, ways. I don't know why the, they punished them two years in a row with the uh-huh. the Minnesota Miracle and then that non-call. Hey, God works in mysterious ways. Kids Just get hate, cancer. It's so. ironic that he hates the Saints. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. maybe he has that's a, he's yeah. having a fun joke with it. Like yeah, it's, a, it's I'm just good. Gonna, like a good joke. Yeah, football God's got a good sense of humor. I get that. The over under was set at fifty four on this, and I really like the under on that. Yeah, I I could see it going over, but yeah, you, you just you just don't know. That's think, that's thirty one twenty two, thirty one twenty. Like that's that's a fucking reasonable score there. Yeah, I like the Saints on the road. Plus I. Actually needed some more road picks too. <laughs> I don't know. We're pretty pretty even. All right. Um. Uh, so I, I we'll go to the next game, which is the Bears versus the Broncos, and this is an afternoon game as well. And I don't understand how the Broncos and Bears are getting all this uh, coverage. I guess maybe at the beginning of the season, so they'll give other teams a chance. Big to play markets under. Yeah, it's true. Denver is a big market. Chicago is a big market. That yeah. makes sense. Did not realize that. But it is the Broncos' home opener, and uh, Denver always has the home field advantage with yeah, that altitude. Do. I think Joe Flacco is going to fly high. He's had success in Denver, even mm-hmm. as a Baltimore Raven. Yeah. Look at the mile high miracle. He loves thing. throwing it deep, and I think you know the Bears do have a good defense. I think they will get after Joe Flacco, mm-hmm. uh, and I think this is going I to think be they fucking get after him a lot. I think, I think this... that Bears defense smothers again. Yeah, I think this is going to be a very low scoring game. But my bet that I took on this was the Broncos against the spread, and the spread was at minus one and a half for the Bears. So I think uh, since I think the Broncos will win, or if they lose, it's going to be, you know, like a one-score game. So I believe that's how that bet works, right? Yeah, exactly. If it's just a one-score game, I'll win that one. Yep. So, yeah, I have the Broncos Over, under is 40. I really like that under. Yeah. Low-scoring game. Yeah, this is going to definitely be a low-scoring game. Um, Who do you you have winning this one? I got the Bears on this one, and I took the points at one and a half. I like uh, their offense and Nagy to not score three points again, <laughs> and I think their defense is going to smother the Broncos' offense. I think yeah. they. Fu- I, I I didn't see anything really out of the Broncos' offense that it got me excited. Yeah, the only reason I picked the Broncos to win was that home field advantage. I love That's the only I reason. love the uh, Philip Lindsay, the yeah. hometown story. He's the one dude on their team that I can get behind and cheer for. And But besides that, I do like Vic Fangio and their defense with Chubb and Von but Miller to get them they around. They able to stop the yeah, Raiders. Yeah, but after seeing them last night where the Raiders exposed them with just running game, like a pound running game, yeah. I think the Bears go back to their running game a lot more Hopefully and try to use Cohen and Montgomery. And they still have a threat in Robinson, even though they didn't score a lot. He's he yeah, quietly he was, put yeah. over a hundred points up. Yeah, he was moving and he's ball. gonna be Trubisky's main target. And I I like how he looks. Um, I like the Bears to bounce back strong. I think that defense keeps it up, and I love that one and a half they give. All I right. think they win by at least four. Two games in a row. We. Uh... Oh, controversy, on. motherfucker! Oh, dick pics. We got it. We got some dick pics. You're showing length here, huh? <laughs> this is a girthy pic. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Good foreground, anyways. Uh, so, want to just move on to the next game? Then we got. Uh, no, let's talk Bears Broncos more. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> let's go. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, so this is the Sunday night game: the Eagles versus the Falcons at. The Falcon Stadium in 
the Georgia Dome. I think we're uh, disagreeing on this one again. I've got the Eagles on this. Okay, I have the Falcons, and I know we talked about it, that we are not drinking the Falcons Kool-Aid anymore. I fuck the but motherfucking Falcons. I'm done with it. I'm I made over this, it. I made this I'm pick over it, those, before we talked about that. Those motherfuckers, I know this will, If they fuck me again, this is going to be the last time I'm that a- I ever pick them in a uh, dick pick. That team that was up in the fourth quarter, it was somewhere in their soul. It's gone. It's gone. Mm-hmm. I don't, they were. It was taken away from them. Because I, I keep believing that they're going to be that team that made it to the Super Bowl. They got a lot of the same pieces. They just can't see. What to do the it. fuck, and Atlanta? Yeah, their defense, it's supposed to be good, but they, they yeah. were getting so Dan on Quinn right. helped create the Legion of Boom. And so I could see the Eagles being able to put up points, but I think the Falcons, they, I think, I think the Eagles, their defense is Got overrated. Expo- yeah, I think they're overhyped uh, on the defensive side of the ball. I think their corners aren't really that good. They were getting scored on by the Redskins, and if the Redskins yeah. were any good as an organization, they would have kept the pedal to the metal. They would have kept scoring, but but they stopped doing that and they kept it safe and. They stopped scoring points against the Eagles' defense, but they kept scoring points on it. I think the Falcons uh, have a lot of weapons on offense, and I think Matt Ryan is going to be able to sling it all over the field on this game. I think this might be a high-scoring game. Um, The bet that I took was the Falcons uh, on the spread, which is set at uh, plus one and a half. So I think the Falcons win, and I think, you know, they win by like three three points, you know. I, I think it still could be close, but I think it could be a shootout. Uh, the over under is set at fifty one, and they might. I think they they might hit the over on that. I just wasn't too sure. I wasn't. I happy bet the under that. on that. I bet Did the you? Eagles to take the points and the under. And this is my thinking on that. Um, one, I'm not drinking the Kool Aid anymore on that Falcons offense. Yeah. That's supposed to be explosive. It should be on paper. Yeah. But even if it does end up a little high scoring, the reason I do like the Eagles is with Deshaun Jackson looking like he's back. That opens a lot for Jeffrey and Aguilar, and I think their passing attack can actually match them yeah. tip for tit on that. Um, and then I, I like uh, Peter, um, their fucking coach. Douglas? Yeah. No, uh, Doug Peterson. Doug Marone? Peterson? Who's yeah, Marone? Marone's the Jags. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Dugs. They, they, he just always has the balls to just go for it in key situations, and I think yeah. that favors the Eagles late in a game. That's why I like the one and a half. I think, you know, they could win by three and I, a half. I just see, I'm picturing it in my mind. I see uh, Carson Wentz getting a little bit too crazy, trying to do too much, and throwing a, a pick mm-hmm. six okay. to a linebacker. Late. Late in the game. Yeah, and I think that's what swings the game, and then the Falcons end up with the W. All right, so we're that's actually one we're on opposites on. on the yeah, over so three and games the in under, a row. Over and the under. I totally think the, the under on that one because I just don't buy the Falcons. Yeah, let me look at these stats that I put together. Yeah, so the over-under is set at 51, and last week they scored a total of 44, so who knows. We'll see. I was hoping that would be in my favor, but <laughs> <laughs> I like that pick then more. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, so the last game, the Monday night game. Monday night football. <laughs> Let's go. Browns Jets game of the week. Yeah, and I think the fans will be singing that Monday night football game as both sides of the ball leave early because it's going to be a really shitty, boring game. You know, it could be exciting. It's just both be... of these teams have, were hyped. And both of them did the anti-hype thing last week and lost. Uh, the the Jets, yeah. they they were able to move the ball Fucking and then they just it. stopped. They blew it. They had that game. And CJ Mosley's out. That's yeah. a huge deal. The defense did not look the same. They were stopping the Bills all game until CJ Mosley went out they and then the Bills were able to move. Yeah, and that, lost that game. Sam Donald, he was he played super well in the preseason, and everyone's giving this hype. Even I bought into it because I'm not as high as Sam I Donald, love Sam Donald as Donald, other yeah. people. But the way he was playing in the preseason, I was like, okay, I think I'm wrong on this one when I said that Sam Darnold isn't going to be that good. And he was proving me wrong in the preseason, and then he goes out and just shits the bed. So that, And then the Browns, too, you know, they, they were the 
off-season darlings, right? Yeah. Everyone was hyping them up, and they go out and shit the bed. Baker Mayfield throws like a thousand interceptions. They are what we thought they were. Exactly. <laughs> they are who we thought they were. Yeah. Playoffs. <laughs> so really, this is a team of just shit in the bed. We This game is, especially let for me, a Monday let me night it, game. Let me put it this way. It's the Cleveland Browns versus the New York Jets. <laughs> like the, That sums it all up. For how many years has yeah, that been exactly. like a, really? That sums it up. Um, I'm having betters remorse immediately in, <laughs> at this. I picked the Browns. Yeah, so I'll probably stick with that. I'll stick with the Browns pick, but I, I think actually the Jets are the better all-around team because that defense did get four picks. They do have Le'Veon Bell, and I do like Darnold to bounce back. But So do you have the Jets winning this one? No, I'll stick with my original. I bet on the Browns, and I bet on them to win by two and a half, but that's where the remorse comes in. Okay. Is I think the more I realize that that Jets defense is probably going to maul that Browns O-line. Yeah, the over-under and, is and 45 Baker's and going to throw at least two picks. The, the over-under 45 and a half, I think that could be a lower-scoring game, but I just bet uh, the money line on the Browns. I think the Browns will win this one. Uh, the only reason I think it's, you know, they've, they lost at home the season opener after all this hype, and I think you know I still do kind of believe in Baker, and I think they need a change of scenery, mm-hmm. and I think the Jets uh, after mm-hmm. C.J. Mosley is out, he won't be playing, so mm-hmm. I think they will be able to throw it over the middle, and I think those weapons get going, mm-hmm. and I think this is going to be Baker saying fuck you to everything yeah. from the off season kind of, to this yeah, game. Yeah, I think I think that's a lot of it. That's kind of what leaned me towards that two yeah. and a half Browns. Because he definitely has that Plus, kind of personality. He has Odell Beckham to throw to, and if there's an, a talented dude to catch for a dickhead. Yeah, I mean the Jets. They do on well. paper. They have a really good defense. I mean they held the, the uh, the Bills to seventeen points, which is I mean uh, it's the Bills, but I think seventeen late points. I definitely That's think not good. Baker Mayfield is a better quarterback than Josh Allen. Yeah. Their offense, I think, is better than the Bills. Yeah, so I think they're going to be able to move it somewhat. You know, even with the two interceptions, I think they'll still get the W here. So that is the. I think game they picks. have the most pressure to win this week, actually. Yeah. I think the they have yeah. a fuck ton of pressure to win this yeah. week. You know, do they fold or do they? Yeah, do they, do they so up I'll they? I'll drink the Browns Kool Aid one more time. Oh. I'm not drinking that Falcons bullshit ever again. I hope they go 0 and 16 every I, time. I never drink the brown Kool Aid. It's a disgusting color. Yeah, it's and it's like, why would you? What fuck. flavor is this? Is this poop flavor? Is it like those jelly beans where it's vomit? You know, I mean, but like you're saying, drinking the Kool Aid, I. I never drank the Browns Kool-Aid, but then it eventually got to me. You know, you, yeah. you see all of it on paper, and it even got to me, even though I'd never want to pick with them. You know, they are a division foe, they need and their get, offensive they need line to get is trash. Chubb going. Their offensive line was awful, yeah, and that's going to be the terrible. Down. No matter what your weapons are, if you got a terrible offensive line, nothing's going to get going. If Baker's he, under duress the entire yeah, he time. He was running his whole, the whole game, uh, so... That might continue because the Jets do have a good defensive line. Which but. is which is going to be bad for Chubb mm-hmm. and Chubb fantasy owners if they don't have an O-line because they're going to be f- winging the ball the entire game. Run the Chubb. This is dick picks. <laughs> Dude, all right. So, so is that all the games? We yeah, got that's all in? the games, but, you know, let's... What's your dick pick of the week? Like the a lock. lock. Like a lock. You're, you're fucking... You're sending this to the girl... It's it's a perfect dick pic. You've been working on it for a minute. You know it's going to get you laid. Guaranteed. So I'm going to lock this dick pic in. I had some good lighting, some good fort, like some good shadowing going. You it's shaved very, that day, so good, that added yeah, an inch to it. Good composition. You yeah. know, I had some music in the background. It was a video pic. You know, oh, it was like a gift. I sent a, nice a gift. Like, a dick <laughs> gift. A dick Beautiful. gift. Beautiful. Exactly, and so for my lock of the week, I'm going with the Ravens over the Cardinals. Nice. I mean, you know, not just as a Ravens fan, I just think what we saw last week, I, I, everything I've been talking about on this podcast about hyping up the Ravens was actually proven on the field. Lamar Jackson, pretty good for a running back. He went out there, he proved that he could do it, and I think against an even worse defense, it, it's going to be uh, the upset of the week if the Cardinals are able to pull this off. What are, you, oh, what are you thinking? What's your luck? Yeah, that's definitely a good one. I think the two easy ones would be go looking at it at Star teams. <laughs> I think those are the easy ones, and that's a cop and out. I think lock of the week, 
I gotta go Chargers over the Lions. Okay. That's a good one. It's not my best dick pick I'm sending. You but know, it's one it's it's two fifteen in the morning and we got something to do and I feel pretty confident about it. You know. We've okay. been flirting for a while. I, I like it. I like it. I think that the Lions just don't have anything to beat the Chargers and that offense is I like Phillip Rivers and the other one I was looking at was Panthers Bucks. I think the Panthers are pretty much a lock to beat the Bucks. Okay. Yeah, you know, I I'm feeling real horny. But that was a small dick pic, so feeling, I wasn't too sure. Feeling really horny. I want to send another dick pic, maybe to another chick. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to just get the feelers get out there. Get your feelers the out more, there. Yeah. The more you send, the more likely you get Don't back. Don't keep you your gotta, eggs in one yeah. basket kind of thing, yeah. Exactly. you got to diversify your portfolio yeah, exactly. of dick pics. You don't so, want to just run the ball all the time. <laughs> another lock that I have, uh, I, the Chiefs over the Raiders, you know, I think this could be yeah, a very high-scoring game. Yeah, I think this is game. a great lock. But I... I the Chiefs, it's it's the Chiefs, man. They they can just put up points like no one's business. They've proven it last year. They're doing it again this year. I think this I dick pic has off. nice curly Mahomes fro on there. <laughs> it's a perfect, perfect, well manicured fro. It's a great pick. Throws the deep ball yeah. very well. Deep ball, great, yeah. <laughs> All Love right. it. Love the pick. So what are you thinking about as a game of the week? What do you think is going to be like a nail-biter close, whether high-scoring or not, or you know, what's going to be the highest scoring game? What's fun a, what's game, a, yeah, like got really my butthole game. puckered. Saints-Rams is going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a very good game. Saints-Rams is going to be a lot of fun. A lot of narratives going on there. Yeah, that one's definitely going to be all right. I like Seahawks-Steelers. Yeah. I think those are two teams. It's a rematch of a Super Bowl. Yeah, and I think the Steelers, they need to prove that they're not fucking playing for a top five pick because they look terrible. Yeah. Maybe Big Ben shouldn't drink this week. I don't know. I shouldn't tell him what to do, but Jesus Christ, they my, look so uh, bad. My game of the week is Eagles versus Falcons. We were different on this pick. I think this could be a high-scoring game, and this is two NFC powerhouses, you know, from the years past. Two recent Super Bowl teams either, you know, going down, yeah. trending down, trending up. I, I think these teams are more equal than we think they are. Uh, it's just, you know, difference of the markets that's oh, changed yeah. the narrative around them. But I mm -hmm. think they are two very I close I think they teams. are pretty uh, – that's one I could be a lot of fun. Could be a lot of fun, but the Falcons are going to blow it in the fourth quarter like they always do. Nah, man, I got the Falcons. The e <laughs> I got the Eagles blowing it in the fourth quarter. Maybe uh, Carson Wentz blowing his ACL or something. The Wentz. <laughs> yeah, Carson Wentz because he's always injured. <laughs> Matty Ice. Matty Ice. Dude, stone Cold Killer. <laughs> oh yeah, God, I love football season. Who who uh who won the Patriots rookie wise has been uh, killing it so far. Uh, Jacoby Myers had one really good catch. Yeah, but probably uh Chase uh Linovich. Yeah, he was killing it. I was high on him. Dude, he was getting in. After we had an interception, he was getting in the Steelers' face. Like, the O-line, Big Ben. I remember he was ready get, to fucking fight everybody. Ready to fight everyone. Well, it's because Big, Big Ben, he saw the long hair and then tried to corner him in the bathroom. And then Chase, He's like, he yo, like, dog. He didn't, he didn't take too well to that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Makes sense. I think the Patriots' linebacking core, with their secondary, the league should be, like, scared as fuck They have about a very that. good secondary. And what worries me, because I thought, you know, the Ravens, they have a very good, deep secondary. Now they are without Tavon Young, their top slot corner, and now Jimmy Smith is going to be out for a couple weeks. You know, one of our other top cornerbacks, uh, a lockdown corner when he's healthy, but he's one of those guys, he's just injury prone, and he goes down again. So all of our depth is now gone at corner, so it, it kind of worries me when we go and play the Chiefs next week for week three. Oh. Uh, so I think, you know, look Tyreek's going to be out for what, like... He's Six, gonna be out for eight that game. weeks. I, but you know, looking forward to that week three matchup. I think that's mm -hmm. you know, after these two weeks, it's gonna be two of the top, top three, top four offenses in the league going head to head, and it's whose defense is better. And I think the Ravens' defense is better, but uh, it's still you know, it, it seems like it's gonna be impossible to stop the Chiefs. They look amazing, but their defense. I thought Spagnuolo was gonna correct it a little bit. I mean, the Chew Man. Fucking racked up what twenty some on them? Yeah, that's yeah. The defense for the Chiefs is gonna be what sets them back again. We'll see about that. 
So, you got any blowout picks? Because, you know, I think just the Ravens, Cardinals, Patriots, Dolphins. A blowjob? Or any, like, surprise blowouts? Like, someone really just demolishes the other team. Fucking we Bengals over the 49ers. Mm-hmm. I think the Bengals probably beat the fuck out of the 49ers. I can I see hope, that. I hope so. That would be tight. Um, I could also see... Well, I, I think Ravens, Cardinals, I think they do cover that 14. I don't know if that counts as a blowout, but that'll be a high score in one. Um, yeah, the surprise one, Bengals won. I think if the Browns do end up winning, it'll probably be by a lot. You think so? I don't think, yeah. Or it, they'll probably pull away late, I think. Okay. I mean, I could see that. And I it it would surprise me. Cause I Low think jobs helps. of the week, I'm going Bengals and Browns. <laughs> yeah, dude, that whole AFC North, besides the Ravens, and surprisingly, the uh, the Bengals shat the bed. Just yeah. looked awful. It was a terrible mess to clean up. No one wanted to do it. You know, and then, then before the season starts, it... AFC North, at least through my eyes, and then nationally, I thought people thought this division was going to be a very tough, very close kind of looking division, but as of now, it's not looking that way. Same with, I think, the both North squads, mm-hmm. NFC and AFC North, uh, both divisions were seen as one of the like the tougher divisions in the whole it league. It looks like Ravens and Cowboys yeah. might run away with it. Yeah. We'll see We'll see about the Eagles. We'll see if they can get it together. They're, they're going to be a wild card push team. I don't think they're as bad as you think they are. They, they are who we thought they were. They are. <laughs> I was talking about the NFC North, which is uh, Packers. Or uh, Packers. Lions. Packers and them. Yeah, I'm thinking the East. But, I mean, the East, too. I think I think there will be two playoff teams coming out of the East, and I think it will be the Cowboys and the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Um, but other than that, man... Uh, Damn. It's another tough week, man. Any time you, you're like, oh, this this week's a tough week to pick, and then you go to the next week, it's like, oh, this week's a yeah, tough it's week even to tough. pick. Dude, this week was way tougher than last week, mostly because the spreads and the money lines are so much closer. Yeah, and it because, you know, the, just like us, they had a chance, Vegas had a chance to look and see how, mm. how the teams kind of look, you know, versus actual competition. You get the starters out there for all four quarters, and the proof is in the pudding. You know, your resume is on, on the tape. So. I think after the first week, well, def- Dolphins are definitely going to be the one pick. They're fighting for the one pick. Giants are fighting for a pick. You can just cancel their seasons. Don't even buy that Netflix subscription. I think the Dolphins are better than people think. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I hope they beat the Patriots this weekend. That would be the push that we need to win the championship. I, I will take 18-1 and one if the one is early in the season. Yeah. Not that will be nice. And we can just chalk it up to the Miami loss, the normal, the annual Miami loss. Well, listen, the Ravens, they started their season on Miami, so it's only fitting that they finish it in Miami. Dude, the AFC playoffs, if it's Ravens, Patriots, Chiefs, the three division winners right now, yeah, I think the fuck, AFC, those I are going to be some high-scoring games. You know, for the past couple of years, the NFC has been perceived as the tougher conference, mm-hmm. but I really think the it's shifted now. After I that think, first week, dude, yeah. the AFC is looking tough again. Now, with the Colts now, without Andrew Luck, it's softened a little bit, but, you know, that's just one team. Yeah. So I think, you know, if, you know, way too early, just week two playoff picture mm-hmm. on the AFC side, I, I think you do. You got you got Patriots, Ravens, Chiefs. Yeah, I put the Ravens above the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. And then I think you got, oh, man, um, this is tough. I already predicted these. So I, I can't remember who I had. So I think, I think the Ravens are the only team to go to the playoffs out of the North. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe the Bengals can continue to do it, but they they always start hot and then they will, I think, eventually cool down. I think the talent, the lack of talent, and injuries eventually catch up to them. Uh, so if you're looking at the West, I think there's a chance to have two teams coming out okay. with the Chiefs. And the uh, Chargers, mm-hmm. yet again. And then maybe, like, a sleeper again. pick, the Raiders, like, if they can continue what they were doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, they pre- they did it I up really against liked the, the I really like the Raiders to be a sneaky, sneaky so team So maybe right you now. get three, maybe you don't. Uh, the Patriots are the only ones that, that are coming out of that division. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then the, the South, who who the hell knows what's going on? Who do you think wins the, the Texans South? Texans have got to be the front runner. They, even after the Texans, they've been, like, what, 9-7 and seven the past three years? Yeah, I, w- I actually like the Titans there. I th- I think te- of the teams that didn't make the playoffs last year, 
Because the Titans made it two years ago, but not last year, right? Yeah, so I'm not, there's like no the division Titans. winners on this, but yeah, the, the Titans, uh, I'm pretty sure they're like in last place to win that division. I, I, I actually like them to sneak up on people. I like the Chargers, obviously. I think... Um, I think that Raiders is a sneaky potential. If they can keep it up, we'll see. That's week one, but another... Yeah, this sne- is way down the line, right? Yeah, and I mean, shit, dude, the Bengals might be fighting for second in the AFC North. I don't know if they're fighting for a playoff spot deep, deep into week 17, 18, but I, I, th- I think they actually look... Yeah, we got they're going to play the Steelers. we got yeah. a, lot of, a lot of time, but... Uh, One more thing I want to talk about is I also put money on a college game. I don't normally do this because it's college. You you have no idea what's going on. Fucking Mike Loxley. But Maryland, (coughs) the Terps, you know them. You love them. This is a Ravens podcast, so you know you got to love this Maryland team. What they've done so far, uh, they have just blown out people left and right because there's only been two games. But they were able to blow out Syracuse. Syracuse? Syracuse? I still can't say that. Say kiss. Say kiss. Say kiss. But they were they were a ranked team and they blew them out. Put up sixty three on kiss, them. bro. And and the spread for Maryland versus Temple Sarah is Kizzy. at minus seven and a half. So I went ahead, locked it in, and put a hundred bucks on the Terps beating that spread. Oh yeah, no, I had to put money on that also. Fucking yeah. Mike Loxley, only because fuck the Lobos. Of course, our former coach mm-hmm. is coaching that team. It's crazy. And now they're scoring it's all up points. It's and, all connected. Ugh, gross. So I, that's one of those like hate fuck bets where I put money on them. But if they lose and Mike Loxley gets embarrassed, that's a win for me. That's cool, man. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Nah, I just think that's a lot. I don't know how Vegas odds like do. The, were they not watching college football? I don't think Temple's that good, and Maryland's just. Putting up mad points on offense. I don't... I don't do you, temple? What? What are they? A synagogue? Are they a, a Jewish synagogue? The hive? Like what? I heard they're the next Clemson. <laughs> Fuck, man. I should not have put a hundred bucks on that game. I am not a rich man, damn it. Losing all my goddamn yeah, money. Yeah, Temple is... Dude, they're going to be up there with Bama. They're come on the up and up. Good news, guys. I spent all, all my money. money. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. You can't drive that in here. <laughs> All right, how do we want to end it? Man, I don't know. I f- feel like we got to end on a good topic. Like on a solid topic. Something football related. Socks are out of it. That sucks. I'm yeah. <laughs> Fuck baseball. Those have been out of it since before, before the season started. Who's your early MVP pick? One week does Mahomes Lamar repeat Jackson. Lamar Jackson? I had him like before. Yeah, like when that's he was great. Drafted. Yeah, Lamar Jackson. What about you? All right. Uh, after week one, I mean, it's easy. Thomas Patrick Edward Brady. <laughs> Is that really his? He's got two middle names. Yeah. What a douche. Of course, of course he uh, does. You got to go. What's he hiding go. in those dimples? What's Fucking, in that dimple? What's he hiding in there? I think he's gonna throw for you know. 55 touchdowns if Antonio Brown plays. Because if you're going to double Antonio, Gordon's wide open. If you double yeah. Gordon or you focus on them, cool. Edelman and White are wide open. I'm thinking the hope around the league is that Antonio Brown is the Trojan horse of outside of football disease nah, that goes happen. in and blows up the Patriots. Can't happen. That's, that's what the Broncos, or not the, the Raiders, were thinking. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's the Raiders. Yeah, that's true. But one can only it's, hope that it's a win-win AB situation. Has the power to if do he that. if he's a motherfucker, Belichick will be like, "Oh, yeah, leave. We're fine." Back Oh, still Super Bowl contenders. Just gotta oh. hope he does enough damage. We gotta hope he does enough like, damage. What, like break Brady's legs or something? <laughs> like <laughs> something like that. Some emotional scars. Sends nah, dick pics to Because we got Jared Stidham. He's re- ready to go. Best backup in the league. That's true. Six round or what was he? Was he another six round pick? Dude, what what was? Here we go. We our segment, the yes moment of the week. Okay, I like it. Um, Where you, it would just football's back, and then all of a sudden you just were sitting there. Yes, 
This is this is part of my game of the week when I pick the Eagles and Falcons. I think the Falcons win it on a pick six. Deion Jones taking a Carson Wentz interception into the end zone. Okay, that is so my that's your yes pr- prediction. Moment. But what was your yes moment of, oh, of last, last week? week? Yeah. Okay, oh uh, week one yes moment. Well, Marquise Brown caught his second pass in the NFL for his second touchdown. Okay, that's a big. I mean, fucking you're, you're talking yes moment. a rookie coming in, two, first two catches in the league is two touchdowns for like Bombs. 130 something yards on yeah. two plays. Uh, the the Ravens have had a history of being terrible at picking wide receivers and it looks so far as of right now that the two wide receivers that they picked are going to be uh, steady contributors this whole season and Marquise Brown looks like the speedster that he was meant to be out of Oklahoma. He had that injury so he didn't mm-hmm. wasn't able to play much and he came out swinging uh, against his hometown. That's pretty legit. My yes moment that got my fucking butthole puckered and excited, that last minute of Saints, Texas. Yes, that was crazy. Yes. 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 That was awesome. Dude, yes. Yes. (laughs) Give me that. Inject it into my fucking veins. That was was so football. I loved every second of it. I couldn't couldn't get my fucking eyes off the screen. It was amazing. One of the crazy things that I love about football, and I think we could probably talk about this for a while, is momentum. Yeah. And how that is a legit thing on the field. Watching the game, you can see the momentum shift, but there's no stat line for it. There's nothing you can compare. Mm -hmm. So it's it's such a crazy thing, this (coughs) abstract, basically, idea that, hey, this team has all the momentum. And then you got to take that momentum from it. People always talk about it, and I, I just love. That's one of the things that you love about, about football. football. That was that was fucking awesome. I loved every second. I because they stole the game. The yeah. Texans stole the game they had from it. them. They had the it. Saints had it locked in the, in two passes, yeah. two fucking passes. They didn't take it from them, and then they turn around. I was thinking, I was like, God, 37 seconds, that might be too much for Drew Brees. Yeah. And it was. Because he is the momentum taker like of he all will. people. He fucking will. And Lutz ended up drilling that 50-yarder. It was never Dude, that was doubt. Nuts. That was a beautiful kick. So yeah. my yes moment, fuck yes. Last week, Saints, was, Tec- Texans last minute. I also kind of like the Kyler Murray coming back. You know, I'm not a huge Kyler Murray fan. That was a fun one. But, you know. Coming back that was at the fun. end, you know, having to make play after play on mm-hmm. third down and then on fourth down, and then you gotta go get for the two. touchdown. You gotta go for two. You gotta get all those. It was clutch just a, situation after yeah, clutch. Just situation. a minor fuck yes, just combined it yeah. together for one giant fuck yes. And my honorable mention is Patriots dropping their six banner against the Steelers. Uh, that's, yes. Yeah, yes. Against the Steelers. Against the Steelers, and then kicking their ass, emasculating their franchise. Yes. What about kickoff? Bears, Packers. That's dude. Yes. Start of the season. Dude. Like, yes. Yes. That yes. when that happened, then that whole game was a whole lot of no. Yeah. But, but yes. Football started, and it was yes. Well, fuck, dude. Trubisky had a chance to tie it going down score late, and you're like, yes. Let's go. We get, we're going to overtime. In true Shitsky fashion. I picked fashion. the Bears by three. They're going to win. I was like, let's go. Yes. And then just shits it. But yeah, come on, let's man. focus on the fun. I'm excited. Those were all cool things. Lamar Lamar bl- going up. That's definitely awesome. That's, that's awesome for you because I know you've been talking for years about that, seeing mm-hmm. that happen on Finally the field. Happened. That was all. I, I, I got a, not emotional, but I was like, damn, my boy, he fucking did it. I, he did I it. it. He did it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, hell yeah. Yeah, dude, that, like, talking about yes, you know, just that moment of, you know, like you said, I've predicted Lamar to be to be great, to be one of the best to honestly do it, you know, currently, like, be a GOAT amongst yeah. this league. And, you know, he took the right step. He took the first step to really proving people wrong. And then amongst all of the shit takes that happened across the league beforehand and me getting triggered by all that, him to go out there and really shut everybody up. I love seeing that. All the announcers. I'm sure, you know, people doubt mm-hmm. the Patriots and they go out and win it. Oh, yeah. You love that feeling. Shove it up just their to, ass. Just to shut, you know, this is dick pics, so. Welcome to sh- dick pics. Shoving it up We're here to ass. shove it that's, up their ass. That's what we love. This is what we do here. That's the slogan. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, we've, we've been going for about an hour and a half, and I think we should end it here. We got our week two picks in. We reviewed our week one picks, and good luck to you, sir. Good luck, everybody. Let's go football.
Uh, send some dick pics out. Make sure. You yeah, get, make sure you send out. Get consent, dick, ladies. You, you can send them too. You know, dick pics. They're not just for guys. Yeah, we're an included in everybody podcast. Yeah, this is yeah, we love everybody. Exactly. <laughs> Send tip picks to other girls that doesn't even have to be sending to guys. You know, right. just share the goods. Sweet. Uh, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and have a good football week. Football week. Let's go. <laughs>